What's up YouTube? Welcome to Must See Eddie's Tactical HQ. Well today we're going to be installing the Magpul SGA stock set on my uh, Remington 870 Tactical. Uh, we decided to go with the flat dark earth version of everything. So here are the parts we're going to be installing. Uh, my last installation videos of my other guns I normally do on camera, but I'm going to do some of this off camera just to make it easier on myself. Uh, with this shotgun being so long, it's really hard to get the whole thing in frame, so the tripod is pretty well in between me and the gun, so it's going to be kind of hard to do on camera. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take off the stock at the rear of the gun. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you have back here are your um, two screws. Oh, off camera. You have two holes here with the screws in them. You're going to loosen those. That will remove this butt pad here, and then inside is one long bolt that you're going to unscrew, and that will detach the um, stock from the shotgun. Uh, for the butt pad part, I'm going to be using just a normal little screwdriver here. And I think you need a little bit longer screwdriver to actually access the bolt that's, I think, further in. So I'm going to use something longer like this. So I'm going to do most of this off camera. I'll be back in just a second. So there's one. Oh, that's no good. Alright, so there's the two screws that will attach to the butt pad, and that should just pop off. And inside we have, no, it's not that far in there at all, one bigger bolt here. So the stock is now off of the shotgun receiver. Now I'm going to go get the scale because like I said, um, I think the Magpul SGA stock um, weighs quite a bit more than the traditional stock. And just so you guys know, let's do a little comparison here of the differences between the two. See that bolt stand there. Um, so you can see the grip angle on the Magpul is quite a bit steeper. Uh, well, it appears as though, let me see if I can get this on camera, that even with the um, spacers here, that these are about the same, about the same length. So it looks like maybe the Magpul stock comes, yeah, wow, Magpul stock comes stock um, shorter than the traditional stock that comes in the 870. Let me go grab that scale, we'll weigh these suckers and see um, how they do. Alright, so let's go ahead and just get this out of the way for now. Set this over here. And let's see how these things stack up weight-wise. We'll do the... Oh, maybe about the same. We'll do the stock. Put this butt pad back on. Maybe. Okay, so we'll put that on there, along with the two screws, might as well do it right. Let's do grams, can we do that? Alright, so it's 400, and you guys can't see that, it's uh, 467 grams for the um, stock stock. Let's see what the, oh, get that out of the way. Alright, and this one is... Uh, 721, and that doesn't even count the screw that comes with it to attach it. Let me go grab that. If you're going to do this, you might as well do it right. So we got to add on the little spacer piece on there, and the bolt, and also the plastic piece that covers it. So we can get that in right there. 
So 739 grams for the Magpul stock. So it looks like it is a little bit heavier. So if you guys are concerned about weight, um, that might be an issue for you. Just so you guys know. Alright, so let's see if we can get this thing installed. Let's get rid of this for now. We don't need this anymore. Well, I guess I should say for the record, guys, this has been um, safety check and it's cleared already. It'll stay on once I tighten it. Okay, so went ahead and put this on, but it's not really staying on there. So hopefully it'll tighten up. And this can be kind of do on camera. Alright, so hopefully it'll stay tightened up here. Let's see if it stays together now. Oh yeah, this is going to be painful. So I'll start doing this guys and I'll just fast forward to uh, when I'm done. So hang in there. Alright guys, so it's all installed on the Remington 870. Um, I will say this definitely was a tedious process getting this tightened up. Uh, with these walls being so close to each other, you can only go a half turn before you hit the next wall. So it took a while, a bit of advice. Don't do it on a table like I was trying to do. It's definitely easier if it is uh, stood up in front of you, receiver toward or the barrel toward the floor, this in your lap. You got it pinched together and you're tightening it down. So that's the easiest way to do it. Um, now let's see if we can get this um, little rubber cap piece on here. That too much problems. Let's see what happens. Come on, buddy. Just go to your home. There we go. Cool. So that's on there. Finishes that look off pretty well. So there that is. Now we're going to move on to installing, which I lost. Oh, here it is. Um, installing the. Um, Four end up here, the MOE four end from Magpul. Uh, here it is. We're going to be installing that next. Uh, what's nice about this is Magpul does include a little tool for actually removing the stock uh, pumps four end. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So what I'm going to do here um, is let me just double check this is clear before I go crazy here because I am paranoid. So we're all clear there. <clears throat> Alright, so what you're going to do here is we're going to, in my, I can't see if I'm on camera. Alright, we're going to remove this nut here at the end. And that comes off. And that will just loosen up your barrel assembly up there. And you're just going to go ahead and pull. Oh, i got to hit the release here. Oh, hold on. Alright guys, forgot about the shelf stop there. So pretty much, if you didn't know, which I forgot, is inside here, if you go underneath, on the left side of the receiver here, there's a little shelf stop button you got to press in to get the bolt out. So that pulls out. This just rests on here, so you can pull that out. Set that down somewhere. And this just comes on out like that. Perfect. Set that down there. I want to take that off so that doesn't fall. And then this is where the tool with uh, that Magpul provides comes in handy. Yeah, so the way this thing works is if you look, oh, it shows it on camera. If you look in here, you can see there's a notch on that side and there's a notch on that side. We got a couple of, so you can get it, notches on this thing. So you're pretty much going to match these up. You see there, it goes in. That's going to help you loosen up. Let me do it off camera so I don't bump it. We got it off. That was definitely not easy. I think it was on there tight. So I'll loosen this thing up. Hopefully I'm making some progress here. Now oh, we're getting there. Okay. <sighs> yep. Okay. So there that is. Set that down just like that. Get this off. Put that over there. And take this and we're going to install it on the MOE. 
Alright guys, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to slide this thing on with the Magpul MOE facing outward toward the barrel. It's going to slide in. You have a little bit of extra space here for that nut. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this sucker on real quick. Be careful here not to do any cross threading because that would ruin your day. So I got it on there. I'm just going to use their supplied tool again. Let's see if I can get this thing tightened up and put it all back together and we're good to go. Get in there. Oh, so you guys can hear that the wife's upstairs moving around. I right, had to put it back on. You're going to do the opposite. You're going to. You're going to put this back on, just like it came off before. You're going to put your bolt back on there. And it's a little tricky to put this on because you got to move some notches. I'm going to do that off camera real quick. Alright, guys, so just remember when you're putting this back on that there are uh, two of those shelf stops on both sides that you have to press in to lower this into place. So we lower it into place, and then we use the uh, lock stop there to press the bolt all the way to the rear. We're going to take our barrel and just slide it on there. Oh, so you can slide it on there at the end, hopefully. There we go. So we're on there. And it's just a matter of tightening this back on. Give me a second. So we are all assembled. That's nice. Let me get the camera fixed so you guys can actually see this whole shotgun in the in the frame of the camera. And then we'll get going again. Hold on. Alright guys, there it is all finished up. The Remington 870 Tactical with the Magpul SGA stock set. Uh, you have the Magpul stock and the Magpul MOE foreign at the end. It's pretty easy installation, guys. Um, I know I didn't do a great job of showing you how to do it. I'll annotate some uh, links in the upper right corner or down in the description if you guys really want to see how to take down a Remington 870 and uh, put it back together. Pretty easy. Some things are a little tedious, but that's just the way it is with these things. I think it looks great. There's definitely some benefits to having this uh, stock sit on here. Like I said, you have the hand stops on the the uh, foreign there, and it actually feels... Um, Get a lot more positive grip on the Magpul foreign than the stock one. And uh, for the Magpul SGA stock, uh, what's nice about it is you can adjust length of pull by adding in spacers. I still have one more, so I could do a little longer if I needed to. That butt pad is super rubbery. It's definitely going to help reduce the amount of felt recoil on your shoulder. And you can also raise your cheek weld if you need to with risers that they sell. But yeah, I think it looks great. We're going to go out and shoot it hopefully in the next week or two. Maybe I'll get some video of that for the first time for you guys and post it up soon. If you guys like what you're seeing, you want to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button. As usual guys, take care and stay safe.